Okay, if your regulator is leaking out of this orifice right here, you got one of two things. You got a bad diaphragm or your seat assembly is uh, has, is leaking past it. So let's pull this thing apart and take a look at it. We're working on a SR250. This is a Victor regulator. Obviously the oxygen side. So let's pop this apart and take a look. Okay, right here you obviously this see the spring and you got the spring button. That's what that little thing's called. Spring button and there's only one way that that needs that should go in. So make sure the little nipple on it is going down or or toward the spring. Okay, looking at this diaphragm, nothing was wrong with the diaphragm. It didn't have a hole. That little ring is called the slip ring. So make sure that gets put back the proper way. Um, there's a little better angle. Here's the seat assembly. That's a 5 8 socket. So this is obviously a right-handed thread. So spin that out. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Okay, there's several parts of this. You got a spring, you got a seat assembly, you got a little split washer. There's about four different parts to this this uh, small assembly here. Okay, the problem was with this seat assembly, that little rubber washer inside the assembly itself obviously has a hole in it, and you can see it right there. So that's where our air was escaping from and out the, out the overflow on the regulator. So let's take a quick look at all these little parts. That's the split washer right there. Um, the little brass part that that sits in is called the stem guide. Now that can only go on one way, so make sure that doesn't get inverted. Then just the spring. So that's how it should look when it goes back together. Okay, here's a quick look at the rebuild kit. It comes with all of that, the diaphragm, the seat assembly, and that split washer. Okay, this first little nylon washer just slides right down in the seat assembly. And then we've already looked at how the seat assembly needs to be assembled before you put it in. So make sure that split washer is going down. Tilt the regulator on oh no, like a 45 degree angle. This so everything kind of stays together, stays lined up. And then just go ahead and snug that down. That's pretty obvious, obvious that's just brass. So you don't want to get torquing on that too much. Just snug it up nice and snug. Here's a quick look at those two diaphragms. They've obviously changed them up a little bit. Make sure that that small area goes down and the big area stays out just like that. The spring will ride right on that brass plate. And then don't forget this slip ring. 
So it will it will sit right there in between the rubber and the and the brass. Just kind of allows that to slide as you're tightening that down. And there's a good look at the spring button. Remember that nipple needs to go out. And the spring just sits on top of that. And obviously you can see that I got the slip ring. Do not forget that because you will tear your rubber when you go to tighten that down. So you'll ruin your diaphragm. So make sure that that little nylon slip ring or slip washer is in there. Okay, here it is all buttoned up. Obviously you can see everything is working fine. Remember to uh, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, or subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot.